said the way you prove to be a judge with a wicked intention is if you you honor people in church on the basis of their financial status by saying let the rich person sit in a good place and let the poor man sit at your feet now those two things are symbols but they can also be literal literal in the sense that it is possible to put a rich man in the best seat in church it is possible to actually ask a poor person to sit at your feet now also a symbolic way you don't ask a poor man to sit at your feet but it is possible for you to ask the poor man to sit at the back not because maybe he arrived late or anything but just because that man the way the person looks is poor praise the things that i think that god is not pleased with that happens in the church is how we have designed where a person should sit in church by how the person is dressed I, so we are so invested in the grand image of the church we have deliberately broken scripture to invest in our brand does this make sense to you i don't want the camera to capture somebody that's not well dressed you must sit where at the back and that thing is described as excellence but to be frank by earthly standards it is what excellence but according to the scriptures what you have just done is discrimination according to a person's financial state and his appearance does this make sense the implications are grave when we do that what we are doing is that we are unconsciously teaching saints that the value of a man is first assessed by his appearance and by his financial status